A 12-year-old girl has shared what was running through her mind when she took on a snake as it sized up her pet guinea pig for dinner. She spoke with Tiani Reid. When 12-year-old Rosie saw her pet guinea pig Maxibon in a death grip, there was not enough time to think, let alone call a snake catcher. So the brave tween decided to take matters into her own hands. Just got this instinct and I didn't even think three hours, just like, grab the snake, grab the snake. She tried swinging the reptile like a hammer throw to dislodge the guinea pig from its jaws. While I was swinging around, Dad comes out, the family comes out, Everyone's still in their pyjamas. Dad stepped in to help and tossed the snake across the garden. That did the trick and it surrendered its snack. And not a moment too soon. So I'm just really happy that my guinea pig's still alive. Yeah, guinea pig's fine. Like, we can hardly even find the scratch on it. Like the ice cream, it seems the pet is living up to its name. Maxibon, for those who like to bite off more than they can chew. I was actually going to call him Bruce, but I was like, that's a bit, you know, too forward. So I was like, Maxibon. Tiani Reid, 7 News. Let's take a quick look at our roads right now. Thanks, Beck. I'm Tamara Eden in the Police Report Online Traffic Chopper. It's been a bit of a nasty crash on the Hume Freeway happening northbound after Donnybrook Road through Calcallo down to just the one lane and significant hold-ups now stretching all the way back to O'Hearns Road. You can now report crime online anywhere, anytime when you need the police but not the sirens. Search report online or visit police.vic.gov.au. Authorised by the Victorian Government, Melbourne. More traffic tomorrow. See you then. Well, Jane Bunn joins us now. Jane, hello. What does it look like uh, ending the week? Oh, Beck, a Friday is looking a bit cooler than today. Then the weekend is hot. We began on 15 in the city as clouds spread on through. That broke up around lunchtime, clearing to a lovely afternoon. The city has peaked at 24.3. The cloud took longer to clear in the southeast. Frankston and Phillip Island, 23 so far. But it turns sunnier in the west to early. Lots of 27s, even at Point Cook. Here's the cloud coming in across southwestern and south central Victoria, but not reaching the rest of Gippsland as expected. Bright sunshine all day in the north as the cloud breaks up further south. The cloud impacts the temperature, compounding the effects of the location of the high. That high is centred here, back over to our west, letting air come up from the southern ocean. There is a cold front set to clip us overnight, introducing a slightly cooler air mass, but it doesn't linger long. By the end of tomorrow, high pressure is starting to move out to our east. Meanwhile, it continues wet in the far northeast from the remains of Cyclone Kiralee. With the high to our west and that clipping front, it is a few degrees cooler in the south tomorrow. With that high moving through, both north and south heat up. Saturday, warm to hot, then the heat peaks on Sunday. Now, we haven't had a lot of northerly winds this summer and we'll notice it, especially all through the brown area in through here, which is well over 40 degrees. This comes with increased increased fire danger. It doesn't last. The next cool change sweeps on through, making it mild again for most by Monday. This is as rain moves through New South Wales. See the area where it's cooler all in through here? That is fed by the remains of the cyclone. Around the nation, tomorrow is sunshine in Brisbane, mostly dry in Sydney. Warm in Adelaide. Perth reached 43 today, 44.6 at the airport. A cool change arrives tomorrow afternoon. To Victoria, the front pushes cloud, the odd light shower across the south, gradually clearing southward east, southwest during the day, the south cool to mild, the north mild to warm and generally sunny. So in Melbourne there is the odd light shower in the morning, areas of cloud, but that will clear. It clears to sunshine during the afternoon. We're heading for a top of 21. That's the latest, more at six. Thank you very much, Jane. Well, the families are desperate coming up at six, the family's desperate message after the Phillip Island drowning tragedy. Good news for Victorians looking for a new car while buyers are back in the front seat and the moment Australians get the life-changing call. They've won the lotto. That is all ahead with Peter Mitchell at 6 o'clock. And that is all from Melbourne's Afternoon News. Thank you very much for joining us. I'll be back again tomorrow from 4. Until then, please take care. Goodbye. Stream 7 News anytime, live and on demand on 7 Plus. And with 7news.com.au, you'll know the news now.